Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Motorsport 7. In today's video, I wanted to go in, give my opinion, make some predictions about what I think is going to be going on with Forza in 2019. I wanted to talk a little bit about Forza Horizon 4, a little bit about Forza Motorsport 7, and Forza Motorsport 8, as well as some other things that Forza has going on that you might not actually know about just yet. So I guess let's start it off with Forza Horizon 4 and talk about possible expansions that are coming to the game. So in case you didn't know, Forza Horizon 4 currently has two confirmed expansions for the game. Obviously one of them has been Fortune Island, which is awesome, and the second one we actually know nothing about just yet. Now, I've already gone in actually and I made an entire video on possible expansions for Forza Horizon 4, so if you want to check that out, I'll link to it down below. In that video though, I concluded that I think the most possible logical second expansion for Forza Horizon 4 could be a Hot Wheels 2.0 expansion, the same way they had Hot Wheels in Forza Horizon 3. However, my opinion or my prediction has changed a little bit since then. Recently, you might have seen Hot Wheels getting added into Forza Horizon 4 quite a bit with things like the Mustang, the Bone Shaker, the Twin Mill, the Rip Rod, and so on and so forth. That doesn't actually leave us with a lot of Hot Wheels cars that Forza's worked with in the past that would get included into a Hot Wheels 2.0 expansion. We do know, of course, one car that is confirmed for Forza Horizon 4 is a Ford F-150 Raptor pre-runner built by Brad DeBerti that has a Hot Wheels paint job on the thing. We know that is coming to the game at some point, but that's all we know so far. However, if we look back to SEMA, at SEMA, there were a bunch of the Forza guys who were invited out to SEMA by the guys at Hot Wheels. At SEMA, they had a whole bunch of these really, really cool Hot Wheels cars and stuff. It's like a, a Legends tour or something like that. Anyways, there were a bunch of really cool cars there, and we could possibly see some of them getting tossed into the game. For example, we've got this crazy weird purple thing that I'm not even going to try to begin to pronounce because it's just a strange thing. Anyways, we could see that in the game. That would be really, really cool. We could also see this thing, the jet car built by Luis Rodriguez, who actually won the best build of Hot Wheels car at SEMA this year. So, I mean, maybe we could see some stuff like that getting tossed in, but... I don't know. Could the fact that Forza being invited out to SEMA by Hot Wheels mean anything? Maybe, but also maybe not, probably not. Honestly though, since I made that original expansion video a little while ago, my opinion has changed a little bit, and I'm honestly not feeling Hot Wheels 2.0 to be the most likely candidate. I think honestly we're gonna see something brand new with a brand new partner that we've never seen before. And what exactly might that be? I honestly have no idea. Forza's always working on deals with companies and trying to arrange really cool deals to bring them into the Forza universe, and that could be going on right now, but We'll have to see. The only thing we can sort of start to guess is the release date for a possible expansion, which would probably be sometime in May. I'm only basing that off of Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels, but we'll have to see. It was announced at the end of April and then released in very early May, so maybe that'll be the same story for Horizon 4, but like I said, we'll have to see what happens. I'll keep you updated with everything Forza Horizon 4 expansion related, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, let's move away from Forza Horizon 4 and into Forza Motorsport 8. Yeah, 8, not Forza Motorsport 7. So, as some of you might have heard already, Forza Motorsport 8 will not be coming out in 2019. The devs have said many times before that they're focusing their efforts on Forza Motorsport 7 to make that the best possible game they can. However, that's one of the reasons, not the sole reason. The Forza Motorsport franchise has always been one of the headliners going in for Xbox. For example, when the Xbox One originally came out, they jumped on it with Forza Motorsport 5. When the Xbox One X came out with 4K capability, they tossed that on Forza Motorsport 7. And Forza Motorsport 8, well, nothing's really happening in 2019. That's because in 2020, there will be a brand new generation of Xbox consoles. Or so people think, it's obviously not confirmed. There's been a lot of rumors flying around recently, a lot of whispers going on that Xbox is currently working on the next generation of consoles that will release in 2020. That would mean Forza Motorsport 8 will be delayed until 2020 so it can be the headliner for the next Xbox console generation. Again though, we have nothing to go off of whether that's true or not. So again, 
We'll have to see what happens. All we know though is that Forza Motorsport 8 will not be coming out in 2019. It will be delayed probably until 2020 to be a headliner for the next Xbox console generation. So does that mean 2019 will be a dead year for the Forza franchise? No. No, it won't. You might have seen me make a video two weeks ago where I spoke about the Forza Street game, which you might have heard of. That is the leaked Forza Mobile game. So if you watched that video from two weeks ago, if you haven't, by the way, it'll be linked down below. Anyways, in that video, I mentioned that I think, or I thought, we would hear about Forza Street either at the Forza Monthly livestream that was last week, or the Inside Xbox livestream that was earlier this week. And as it turns out, with my brilliant predictions, neither of those things happened. However, I am still in the belief that Forza Street is a very real game, and we'll just have to wait until we hear about it in the future. I would imagine we'll probably hear more about Forza Street, possibly at E3 2019, and then Forza's never made a mobile game, so I can't really go off anything in terms of release dates. Maybe it'll drop on E3 day, that would be pretty cool, or in following with previous Forza games, like September, October sort of time. But again, hey, we don't know yet, we'll have to see. Stay tuned, because when we hear some more stuff, I'll make sure to make a video about it. And speaking of E3 2019, what exactly is Forza gonna do? Well, once again, we don't really know just yet. They could possibly delay the Forza Horizon 4 expansion and announce it at E3, which would be a very massive stage for an expansion, but would be very, very cool because it means the expansion would be massive. However, I don't think that'll really happen. I imagine it's gonna follow with the previous expansions that Forza's done, getting announced at the end of April and then releasing in May. Maybe they'll announce Forza Street at E3 2019. That would be really cool. However, I don't actually think Xbox has ever announced a mobile game at E3 before. And I mean, hey, that's assuming that Forza Street is actually a real thing. However, definitely I would imagine we'll see something for sure about Forza Motorsport 7 and for sure about Forza Horizon 4, whether it just be minor little updates or announcing something big that they've been working on. I don't know, but I imagine we'll hear a little bit about the two games. Regardless though, 2019 is gonna be a very exciting year for Forza. I am super, super pumped to see what they do with that expansion for Horizon 4, with Forza Motorsport 8 being in development, and with the rumors flying around about Forza Streets. It's all gonna be super, super interesting to see what's getting worked on and when things get announced. I will be sure to keep you guys updated with everything you need to know Forza related, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon with some more Forza news. I'll see you guys then. Bye!